This program is intended to assist in training the operator of Hobart equipment and is a supplement to the instruction manual. The instruction manual provided with your machine has ML numbers printed on the cover. Be sure the ML number agrees with the number stamped on the data plate on the machine. For more information, always refer to the instruction manual. Replacement manuals can be obtained from your local Hobart office. The Hobart LXG glass washer is the most efficient, easiest to operate under counter glass washer on the market. During this program, you'll learn how to properly operate the LXG glass machine, including setup and proper rack loading. How to shut down the LXG, and clean the unit when you have completed operation for the day, and how to perform minor troubleshooting and preventive maintenance procedures. Your company has invested in the Hobart LXG undercounter glass washer, the best in the industry. The Hobart LXG glass washer combines rugged durability with a variety of features that mean easy, cost-efficient glassware cleaning for your operation. The LXG washes up to 40 racks per hour by using only 1.2 gallons of water per rack. Its economical design cuts water, detergent, and chemical costs. With solid-state electronic controls, a pump drain, an optional detergent pump and booster heater, the LXG is the ideal choice for utensils, small wares, and glassware. The LXG-H is available for high temperature applications, while the LXG-C is suitable for low temperature chemical sanitizing applications. Ask your supervisor what mode of operation is being used at your location. After installation and before the LXG glass machine is used for the first time, it must be cleaned. Refer to the cleaning section of the instruction manual for proper procedures. Before each day's operation, make sure the coarse and fine scrap strainers are in place and free of debris. They are located inside the wash compartment, just in front of the machine's lower wash rinse arm assembly. Next, check the upper and lower wash and rinse arms to make sure they spin freely and the nozzles are not clogged. Occasionally, debris may become wedged in a wash arm nozzle. This will block the flow of water through the wash arm and result in improper dish cleaning. If an upper or lower wash arm nozzle becomes clogged, it must be removed for proper cleaning. To remove the upper or lower wash arms in the glass machine, unscrew the knurled knob located at the center of the wash and rinse arm assembly. Gently remove the wash and rinse arm assembly off the shaft. Make sure you have a firm grasp on the upper wash arm as the knurled knob is removed. Then take the wash arms to a sink. With a toothpick or some other dull pointed object, push the nozzle obstruction into the wash arm. Remove the rubber plugs on both ends of the wash arms and run water through them until the debris is washed out. Then replace the rubber plug. Reinstall the wash and rinse arms in the LXG wash compartment. Once the knurled knob is tight, make sure the wash and rinse arms spin freely. The LXG glass machine is now ready for daily operation. <laughs> Loading dish racks is one of the most important factors in cleaning dishware properly. Let's take a few minutes to examine proper rack loading. There are several types of dish racks which are used with the LXG dish machine. Always select the correct rack for the items you are washing. Scatter silverware loosely in a flat bottom dish rack or place it in a silverware basket. For best results, soak the silverware in a soap sink before running it through the dish machine. Optional open type and compartment type dish racks are used for glasses, bowls, and cups. Always load glasses, bowls, or cups with the open end facing down towards the bottom of the dish rack. Loading these items properly ensures that they will be thoroughly cleaned and won't collect water in the dishwashing cycle. Finally, when the rinse cycle is complete, 
allow dish racks to sit for a few minutes to flash dry before storing them. The heat transfer to the dishware from the rinse water actually helps the dishware dry. The LXG glass washer is one of the easiest dish machines to operate. Its simple procedures and digital readout allow high production glass washing in a short period of time. The LXG is equipped with an electronic digital display that shows machine status or mode, water temperatures and drain fill or temperature probe errors. The display will be referred to throughout this program. To begin washing glasses with the Hobart LXG, first press the on key located on the display panel. The display shows the machine model number as it performs a 5 to 10 second self-check. When the self-check is completed, the word fill and the temperature of the water in the machine sump are displayed as the glass washer fills with water. If a door is open during the fill cycle, the filling operation will stop. After the door is closed again, the filling cycle will continue where it was stopped. If the wash key is pressed during the fill cycle, a wash rinse cycle will begin after the fill cycle has completed. If a beeper sounds and the machine will not fill, turn the circuit breaker off, then on. Then restart the fill process. If the problem continues, contact a Hobart service office. Once filled, the machine's pump will activate for about 10 seconds. On the LXGH for high temperature dishwashing, the fill light will flash while the booster heater is preheating. The preheat takes about eight minutes. When the machine is full and the temperature correct, the display indicates the water temperature in the machine sump. You are now ready to wash glasses. Open the LXG door and slide a rack of glasses into the glass washer. Liquid detergent is automatically injected into the wash chamber. Then press the wash key. The word wash and the water temperature in the machine sump are displayed during the wash cycle. Wash water temperature for high temperature glass washing should be 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. If the door is open during the wash cycle, the cycle will restart from the beginning of the cycle when the door is closed. When the wash cycle is complete, the machine will pause before the rinse cycle begins. Rinse agent is automatically injected into the washing compartment when the rinse cycle begins. During the rinse cycle, the word rinse and the rinse water temperature appear on the display readout. Rinse water temperature in high temperature glass washers should be a minimum of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. If the door is open during the rinse or drain cycle, the cycle will continue at the point it was interrupted when the door is closed. If the off button is pressed during the wash or rinse cycles, the machine will drain and power down. When the rinse cycle is complete, reload the machine for the next wash and rinse cycle. At the end of the day, press the off button. When the off button is pressed, the machine will drain and power down. The LXG glass machine should be cleaned at the end of each working shift or at least once each workday. To begin the procedure, press the off button on the control panel of the machine. The machine will drain and power down. When the display is no longer lit, open the door and remove any debris from the bottom of the tank. Now remove the upper and lower wash and rinse arms. To remove the wash and rinse arm assembly, Unscrew the knurled knob located at the center of the assembly and gently remove the assembly from the shaft. Next, remove the coarse and fine scrap strainers from their location in front of the lower wash rinse arm assembly. Take the wash and rinse arms and strainers to a sink. Examine the wash arm nozzles for clogs and clean them as described earlier. Then thoroughly clean the wash arms and strainers using warm soapy water and a soft dish rag. With a damp cloth, wipe the interior of the machine, including the water level probes toward the rear of the wash compartment and the water level probe under the fine strainer. Also wipe the lip of the bottom of the machine door. 
Do not use steel wool or any abrasive cleaners when cleaning the interior of the machine or the water level probes. Then with your soft damp cloth, wipe down the exterior of the machine, including the control keypad and display. Then replace the coarse strainer and the fine strainer. Finally, replace the wash and rinse arm assemblies and make sure they spin freely. Keep the door ajar overnight to allow the interior compartment to air out and dry. The Hobart LXG glass machine requires periodic maintenance to avoid future problems and ensure trouble-free operation. The LXG requires occasional delining depending on the mineral content in the water supply. Delining should be completed when machine inspection reveals clear signs of lime deposits, a white chalky substance on the inside walls of the glass machine and on the wash and rinse arms. When delining is necessary, a delining agent should be used for best results. Warning: Delining solution, rinse agents, or any other kind of acid must not come in contact with bleach or rinse solution containing bleach used in chemical sanitizing machines. Mixing may cause hazardous gas to form. This entire procedure must be followed step by step for safe and satisfactory results. To deline the LXG, first remove the standpipe assemblies from the chemical containers and place them as close to the floor as possible. Place a pan under them to catch any runoff from the pipes. Then cycle the machine four times to clear the lines of remaining chemicals. Once the fourth cycle is complete, remove the dish rack from the machine, carefully following the manufacturer's instructions. Add the delining agent. Now close the door and press the wash key. Allow the machine to finish the wash and rinse cycle. Then press the off key. Open the LXG door and inspect the machine's interior for remaining lime deposits. If additional deposits are found, repeat the procedure just described. Once the machine is free of lime deposits, reinsert the standpipes back into the chemical containers. Now press the on key and run four full machine cycles. This purges the system of any remaining delining agent and readies the machine for dishwashing. Caution. Do not allow the delining agent to remain in the machine longer than recommended by the delining agent manufacturer. This concludes Hobart LXG glass washer operator training. Please refer to your instruction manual if you have any additional questions regarding the use or operation of this machine. The Hobart LXG glass washer provides many years of useful service if used and maintained properly.